I'm gonna bring you in the shore, okay? I know, I know, just calm down. Just Oh, some gut-wrenching video showing moments a kayaker saves a child who is floating in the middle of the St. Louis River up near Duluth there. Mm -hmm. That whole rescue from start to finish was caught on the kayaker's GoPro. Our Rose Schmidt joins us live now from the newsroom. Rose, this child back home with family safely, but what happened here? Well, Amy, a man was fishing out on the river fighting a sturgeon when he saw a little boy stranded in the middle of the channel. As a former police officer, he says his law enforcement training kicked in. So he intervened, potentially saving the child's life. In the middle of the St. Louis River, something no one wants to see. Are you going to be able to make it in the shore? You need some help? Okay. A six year old all by himself, panicking and screaming. In the shore, okay? I know, I know, just calm down. Just calm down. Calm down. Just hold my hand. Something that was almost indescribable, something that you would honestly hear from a horror movie. On July 5th, David Jones was fishing near Duluth when he heard the boy's cries for help. Drawing on his background and patient care, he kept the boy calm, helped him grab onto the kayak and they made their way to shore. You're strong, right? Yeah. Okay, all right, so I just need to be strong for a few more seconds. He then asked a stranger at a nearby home to get the boy a towel as they called 911 and waited for paramedics to arrive. People online have hailed David a hero, but he says he did what anyone would have done. You got a kid that's bobbing up and down in the middle of water on the St. Louis River. Uh, it's 57 degrees outside, so I'm not sure what the water temperatures were. Before he started fishing, David had seen the little boy swimming next to his dad's sailboat. Duluth police say they interviewed the boy's family, who told officers he lost hold of a rope attached to the boat, and the wind and the currents prevented him from swimming to shore. Yeah, are you still really, really cold? Yeah, he's colder. Yeah, okay. This behavioral health technician says his main concern was for the child's health because he had started turning blue. He posted the video on social media in hopes of bringing attention to water safety. And he says despite the conditions out on the water, the little boy held on and never gave up. I hope that he can recover from this incident and be fine and also hope that um, he never get put in this position again by another adult. I asked Duluth police if anyone involved would face charges. They said no. Last year, a father drowned in this same river, attempting to save his daughter and another child. Back to you. All right, Rose, thank you.